Okay, I'm at 7018 Dakota, and um, thinking this is one of the more original homes that was built uh, in this particular area, um, because this to me feels more like an easement. You literally come off of Dakota, and then you come down here. It was difficult to find, which, you know, is good if you don't want people to find you. Nice long driveway. I like that because there's not a lot of street parking in this neighborhood. Um, the yard is cute. I would say it's a little overgrown. I, you know, me personally, I would come in and clean this up. Um, I would say definitely the house is ready for paint and the house isn't that old, but it's definitely, uh, to me, looks like the original roof. Uh, but for sure it is ready for, um, some painting. In addition to, uh, the nice front yard, there's also a big... Uh, side yard and so you can see this is large um, it appears to be fully fenced oh, gosh, I don't know if you can see this very well but you can see sort you know sorts of indications that paint is is needed um, wild roses regular roses not a lot of trees otherwise the grass looks good, so it tells me that it's a, you know, a sunny, sunny yard. Um, could be a fruit tree here, maybe even here. And then this is the back side of the house. So it's really a side yard, not necessarily a backyard, but it's really nice. It's big and it's fenced. You have a nice view of the um, front yard from the covered front porch. So it's a nice spot if you are um, parking in the driveway to get out of the rain, if you're coming into the house. We enter onto uh, really pretty laminate floors. We come into the house and if you go to the right, you're gonna go into the quote unquote formal spaces. And if you go straight ahead, that's um, the eat-in space in the kitchen and then the stairs down are gonna to go to the family room and to the garage access and the stairs up are going to go to the bedroom area. Skylight here. Um, skylight might have a failed gasket, otherwise it just needs a cleaning. I don't see any signs of leakage. Um, the paint and the carpet and the flooring really do look fairly fresh. It definitely has a nice light and bright um, feeling just as you walk in, the natural light is beautiful. Okay, we're gonna head to the right first into um, the formal living space. You can see that um, this home has wall heaters, so individually zoned heating, so each room's gonna have its own heating unit and its own thermostat. This is a very spacious room, probably a little underserved, meaning it doesn't have a ton of furniture in it. Furniture, I don't know if I said that correctly. Um, this is a six top table and that's probably about the right size for this space. Certainly there's some wall space if you have a hutch or a buffet, but a six top table is probably uh, the best fit for this. Here's another heater um, and that probably goes with the thermostat that's right here. So we loop around into the kitchen and it is not a gigantic kitchen. Um, this is a really popular floor plan. They've built this quite a bit around the county. I have had other clients buy this floor plan and I have had them expand their kitchen into the space. So what they end up doing is putting a bank of cabinets here and here and then maybe a little island. Um, it's certainly feasible to do so. And since you have a dining room so close, is it really necessary to have a whole other eating space? So um, our closets are covered with curtains, so they made a pantry there, and then this would work as a utility and coat closet. We'll go ahead and head downstairs. Again, very freshly painted. I think the carpet is brand new or very new. Very nice size family room. So here's another zone. This overlooks the um, side yard. 
The ceiling height's quite tall and can accommodate a ceiling fan. So um, pretty normal and it doesn't feel that way. So we've got a deep sink, a toilet, and a laundry room. Um, I've had a lot of clients just switch this out for a regular sink. You know, deep sinks are pretty handy if you have small pets, um, but they're not quite as attractive. Lauren goes all the way through into that laundry space. Then we have our garage here. This garage has a very tall ceiling, so it gives you plenty of room if you want to hang storage overhead. We have our panel out here. Fairly standard, nothing unusual to be seen there. Garage door looks fairly new and uh, we have a garage door opener. Again, the age of the home is not so old, so certainly these things are um, original. Looks like the original water heater. It looks like it's in decent condition. I'm gonna head upstairs where we'll find the bedrooms. At the top of the stairs, we're gonna take the first door on the right. This is a nice size master. Um, they have a full size air bed in here. I think this could easily accommodate a king with plenty of additional wall space for additional pieces of furniture. We have an exposed vanity. This is all original laminate. Nothing really exciting here, but it looks like it's in good shape. Generous walk-in closet has a scuttle access in it. And then a privacy door for the space with the commode and the shower. This is a fiberglass shower insert. Toilet's probably ready to be replaced. To the right of the master is the hall bath. Very similar vanity. The toilet looks really miniature. I'd be tempted to replace it. This should be a tub shower combo. Fiberglass insert, really basic. This door here would lead into the adjoining bedroom. So it's kind of like a Jack and Jill bath. I have a twin air bed. I think this room could easily accommodate um, a full or a queen double. Um, single or two door wardrobe closet. Again, every room is going to have its own heating system, zone heating. Uh, the paint in this room needs some touch up. They've uh, puttied probably had a kid in here with lots of art on the walls. So they've puttied that, but it's time to do a little texturing and some paint. And then the final bedroom, this is a queen size air bed. I think it fits comfortably, would also fit in that uh, wall. This room has a wardrobe closet with no doors, and then this would be a scuttle access. So to another attic space. Um, the paint in this room looks in a little better condition than the last room.